degrees. Only one more degree and I win today, believe me. If it's two more, Barbara wins and well, we don't want that. Certainly we don't want the weatherman to win either. So, you know, 20 degrees, we're going to get there. Have faith. It is Thursday, November the 4th and, well folks, let me do this. Today I'm really, really happy because a good friend of ours is coming back to visit. But first of all, everybody that's watching us live right now, got to thank you guys for tuning in. Absolute pleasure to have you back. It really, really is. If you're going to watch this a little later on over there on YouTube, you know what to do, right? No, you do. You do. You really, you know, sub, thumb, bell. Bingo. Uh, bell notifications when we have important people coming out of Ontario. And it's been a while since we've been to Ontario. We're catching up with Hayley Beryl. Yes, you know her. Believe me, you request her like crazy here at Galaxy. So let's not dance around that. I feel like one of those race horses that did the Melbourne Cup the other day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like one. I'm off. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> thanks a lot. Yeah, right here, right here. Yeah, it, it's uh, it, Australia has the one race that stops two nations, literally not only Australia but New Zealand. And uh, well, you know something, my horse came in second. Yeah, got a place. And a Kiwi horse came in first. And a Kiwi horse came in first. Yeah, yeah. but we didn't uh, have a sweet well, mix. Yeah, we're, Hayley, I always get confused when women come up to me and say, do you want to be in the office pool? I'm going, we have a pool? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Honestly, That's never happened to me. <laughs> honestly, um, Sarah, our receptionist, came up the other day and she goes, we're doing this thing for the Melbourne Cup. Do you want to be in the office pool? I says, when did we get a pool? Where are we going to put the thing? <laughs> she thought I was He's crazy. like, not that type of pool. <laughs> yeah. <No>. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Almost won it, too. I'm waving at you. Uh, You're must... waving at me. You're waving at me. Is that what you were doing? Yeah. Hayley, I'll give you a little secret. I'm actually watching you, watching me, watching you. Oh, that's creepy. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it is creepy. Yeah. Uh, by the way, you, you know that after we do the interview, we do the crazy photos and stuff like that, right? Yes, we did it, we did it the first time I, I had an interview with you guys. Ex exactly. Then you got the, the movie and all of that as well. <laughs> Guess what? Oh, my goodness. We're going to do all of that again, but this time we're also going to turn you into a cartoon. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Believe me, it's one of the few things, Hayley, that makes me look good. <laughs> and you'll be surprised. I've got people, they watch these interviews like crazy, hey, but yes, then they go and watch the cartoons soon. and they're, oh. they're multiple watches. They go back over and over and over again and watch them. <laughs> That's funny. Pe people love cartoons. I don't know what it is. I really don't. You've got but Ed's you'll watching. love this. You really will. Ed's, Ed's watching. Ed's watching. Ed, we're going to be with you very, very shortly. I thought you'd be doing band practice right now, bruh. <laughs> oh, believe me, I'm looking forward to meeting up with Ed and the boys from Neon Fields coming out of the UK. Going to be great. Okay, it stopped. There we go. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. I thought there was a bit of a bug there, it sort of indicates that there was a problem, so okay, bear with me. Computers, you love them, don't you? You really do, especially if you've got to work with them. And today, coming out of Ontario, we're catching up with a good friend of ours. Yes, Hayley Verrill is with us, and believe me, you know Hayley. You've been listening to us singers, you've been listening to her music, requesting it like crazy, and it's such a pleasure to be able to catch up with her again. Welcome back to Galaxy, Hayley. 
Thank you for having me, Grant. I really appreciate it. Oh, it's an, always a pleasure to have a family member come on back and uh, talk to me about brand spanking new music. And I love new music. Everybody does. I've got to be honest with you. Uh, but we kicked the show off with Dance Around It. Let's refresh our audio audience's mind and memory. Tell me a little bit about that. So that song, is just, it's a love song. It was written by a great producer and artist, and I was able to be a featured artist on it. And it was so amazing to be a part of that song and how much airtime it's gotten and how much people have loved it. And I really appreciate each and every single one of you for tuning in, for requesting it, and bugging Grant and Barbara to play it. <laughs> well, i got to be honest with you, Haley. You're becoming a stable part of our diet, especially in the breakfast show just recently. You know, everybody really loves your work. They really do. Now, uh, let's weigh it up. The breakfast shows every day are made up by stats of how many people request how many artists and, and what track it is, you know what I mean? Compile it all together, we uh, put it through to production. Production works it out of who gets the most votes, whatever, and that therefore shapes the breakfast show, starting at 6 in the morning through until 10 in the morning. And Hayley, uh, you're appearing more than once right now, which is phenomenal. It's a, a huge achievement, literally. And you're also appearing in our Galaxy Artist Top 40. Which, which again... Oh, okay, that's awesome. I didn't it, know that. Thank you. Yeah, look, stir-crazy right now. Coming in at number 13 on our Galaxy Charts. Oh, wow. So, congratulations. It, believe me, it's not easy, A, getting an interview, getting music on our station, but B, hitting the Galaxy Charts is phenomenal, and i got to congratulate you. That is work well done. Well, thank you so much, and thank you to everybody requesting it. I really appreciate that. I didn't even know that. That's amazing. Well, you seem to have made a connection with our audio audience, especially with Stir Crazy. Now, we're going to be releasing this, but first, before we do, I'm going to ask you, uh, how long have you been performing? Because this particular piece of work seems like you're an old hat at it. You've been doing this for a number of years now. So tell me, A, what got you into music, and B, how long have you been doing it now? So it really got me into music. Very first, I was a church singer, <laughs> with my dad being a barbershop or my mom singing in the church choir too. So I started in the church. I fell in love with it. Got singing lessons, piano lessons. Got better as I got older. And I actually before wanted to be a vet, um, but uh, things happened and I fell in love with music. And I really knew music was my purpose and what I wanted to do when my dad's mom, so my grandma, had uh, suffered a stroke. And seeing the smile on her face when I pulled out my guitar that I got for Christmas and playing the songs, I just knew that's what I had to do. So I've been performing ever since I was a little girl, but taking it very seriously about seven, eight years ago now. You know, that, that's a wonderful backstory. It really, really is. And it gives us a little bit of humanity to Haley. It really does. Uh, but I've got to let you know, Haley's also in the Burlington Hall of Fame. Tell me about that. How did you manage to achieve that? I honestly have no idea. <laughs> so one day I was driving home. I believe I was coming back for maybe a co-rate. And I was driving home and I get this phone call from Burlington. And I'm like really confused as to who it could be. And as I'm driving, I, I answered it. And they're like, you've been inducted into the Burlington Performing Arts Center Hall of Fame. And I'm like, really? Like, I didn't believe it at first. <laughs> And that's how it really came to be, and I was so surprised, and I'm so humbled and welcomed and, and loved by my own city of Burlington that I really appreciate it all. You know, I get it. I really, really do. And, you know, they've got the insight that we've got. We can see in Haley what the rest of the world is going to experience. And believe me, she's not going to go stir crazy over this. She really isn't, <laughs> because I think that this is the start of a wonderful career and the start of a wonderful relationship with Galaxy. Tell me about Stir Crazy. So that song, it started out with a piece of... So my, my co-writer, Angela Syracuse, was inspired by a kid's drawing. And we took that idea of the house that didn't have any windows and we built from it because the idea of creating art but no one can see it or hear it, it's kind of like relationships. 
like when you're in a relationship and maybe you're dealing with a long distance relationship and what distance can do to a person. So it was based on a stir crazy feeling to have something to share, but nobody to share it with. You know, I understand that now. I really did. Uh, I've got to be honest with you. I thought it was all about me being stuck in a little room forever. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? That's what it's all about is you can base it off whatever you feel. It's not really based on one specific thing. Whatever it makes you feel, that makes me happy. Because also, I felt like I was stuck during the pandemic. And and it, it was kind of based, I felt like it was based off of that too. But the main meaning behind it was totally a little bit different. Totally understand. Really, really get it. And believe me, Haley, I listen to the music. I listen to the lyrics. Uh, as an engineer, I listen to the whole construction of everything. And I've got to be honest. This is a wonderful piece of work. It really is. It's a masterpiece. So, without further ado, let's introduce it to the world. Here's Hayley Beryl and Stir Crazy. <laughs> Cock a hoop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm, I'm... What time is it over there again for you? <clears throat> Excuse me. 10.26. 27 minutes away from 10 o'clock. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Oh, wow. Pass. Pass, then. Uh, pass. pass not yeah, pass. Two. Not away. Not two. So you can't even tell the time. Well, you is threw me out. You said the I'm time. I'm not good with time zones. <laughs> I only know oh, a few. You, oh, you, you need Hi, to talk Franco. to Barbara. She, she, she has to manipulate these interviews me? around. <laughs> the ridiculous thought that somebody's going to change the time on us. Well, actually, we're going we're going in back an hour um, on Sunday. Yes. Yeah, yeah. coming Sunday. We're going back an hour for daylight savings. Because you're going forward into winter, aren't you? Yes. Yes, so it's forward into winter, back in time. And reverse that if you're going into summer, you go forward. Yeah, so the way the time. way I remember it is spring forward, fall back. Yep. Yep, absolutely. I think we've all been brought up with that. Franco is joining us. Yes. Nice to have you here, African Franco. African He's with African the African, 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 yeah. Yeah, we need to uh, catch up with him. Hi, We're Jill. Getting involved with the humanitarian thing for building schools oh, and yeah. stuff like this in Africa. That's awesome. And uh, he's one of the chappies that's involved in that. Hi, sweetie. Jill's with us as well. Nice to have you on board, Jill. Hi, Jill. You're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. Jill Fai is watching. Nice to have you back, Jill. It really is a pleasure. And uh, we love, love, love your music. We really do. Now, Hayley, i, I got to be honest with you. I love this. I really do. I try to write music about me, my experiences, the experiences of my friends and family. Couldn't get better than that, could you? <laughs> I don't believe so. No, absolutely. Uh, so... Writing music as of a whole about your experiences, how difficult is that? Well, a lot of the things that I see happening over social media, in the world, like relationships or breakups and things like that, sometimes I've never really experienced those firsthand, but having friends and family and, and people I meet going through those I kind of built those relationships and like, sorry, built those experiences and, and want to write based off of that. And then I also write things that happen to me and hope to relate to those as well. I get it. I really do. Uh, now, at the same time, speaking of writing and recording and stuff like that, <coughs> excuse me, asthmatic. Anything new coming up in the near future? I've got so many songs in the works. 
I'm co-writing with people. I've got the, I'm setting up dates to co-write, but I do have another single that we have planned for a release next year. So therefore, and I'm going to be really, really to the point here. Are you going to come back? Uh, I don't think so. I'm kidding. Yes, I will always come back. <laughs> Very cool, Haley. We absolutely love your work. We love you as a person. Love to see you here in New Zealand, and I'm sure we've discussed that uh, as soon as we can get the borders open. You never know. We might be able to put something together to have you play here in New Zealand. We'd love to be able to uh, do a few giveaways. If, you, if you've got a CD or two, or even a um, T-shirt or something like that, send it to us. We'd love to be able to do a few giveaways. It's about keeping Hayley Verrill and your name rolling here at Galaxy. And therefore, that's why we asked, I think, uh, why production asked, for you to uh, do a couple of stingers for us, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I can definitely do that. Having said that, that's actually boosted you back up uh, the ratings literally here at Galaxy because people are taking notice of who you are now, you know what I'm saying? Not just oh, another amazing. song. It's not just another song. It's a Hayley Beryl song. That's the important thing. Uh, Hayley, we're going to wrap it up right now, but don't go anywhere just yet. You know what we're going to do next. And I, <laughs> and I feel sorry for you. I apologise now. But in the meantime, let's go back over to the other studio. You're right here in Galaxy. Good morning. Galaxy 107 FM.